Okay, it has been raining for the last few days and I have no motorcycle cover and I'm staying at a friend's father's house and as you can see the carport is filled with the boat. So I had to improvise. That's a whole roll of black plastic bags, people. It seems to have held up pretty well despite the horrendous wind and everything that came with all the rain. Ah, time to go for a ride. What did she do? Yeah, good. That's actually next door's carport. It doesn't belong to this house, meaning I couldn't use it, which was a bit annoying. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, perfect. Hang on, there we go, there we go. Good job, Mr. Plastic Bugs. You did well. Excellent. A few moments later. Yeah, so I just rode all the way to Queenscliff and recorded uh, what I'm sure is an extremely witty and interesting vlog, only to find that the GoPro hadn't recorded the audio properly. Uh, the microphone attachment for the GoPro Hero 5 and 6 is in fact the worst thing ever. Just saying. Anyway. I am waiting for Kate and the hounds to arrive and we're going to take them for a nice walk on the beach and Kate's also buying me coffee, which I badly need. Had a bit of a relapse in America, but I'm back on the douche flute now. Please don't judge me. I'll say one thing for my little R3. It was sitting up for seven weeks while I was in the United States, wasn't touched, and it started first turn of the key. This is why I always buy Japanese vehicles, people. Yamaha's reputation for reliability is richly deserved. Hello, everyone. Hello, little boy. Hey! Riley, come here. That is my faithful, loving hound, Riley, who clearly needed to pee. You a good boy? Riley, sit. Sit. Hey, say hello to the people on YouTube. Don't be such an ignorant shit. Riley! God, he's in a mood today. Riley, come on. Go, go, go. Where are you going? Where are you going? Mmm, it's dog Disneyland, isn't it, boy? dog of mine, Riley, 
have them about five years now and uh, to say that the poor little dude did not have the best start in life is to put it mildly he was rescued from a puppy factory in 2012 when he was just a couple of months old and amazingly the RSPCA who rescued him actually filmed it the first dog you see in this next video is Little Riley. So yeah, not the greatest of starts in life for the poor fella. When I got him first, he was absolutely terrified of people, particularly blokes, which was kind of a problem when, you know, a very tall bloke with a deep, boomy voice went and adopted him. He wasn't too keen on me at first. Although he did absolutely adore my old dog, Maxi, and I eventually won him over. I've had him five years now, and to say that he is a great little dog is putting it mildly. Very clever, generally obedient, although he has been in a bit of a mood today and not doing what he's told. Little shit. Yeah, I tend to like dogs a lot more than I like people these days. I guess if you watched my 20 minute long self-indulgent misery fest that was my last video, you can figure out why. Ah, oh, move it in your Pajero. I hate it when people are like just speeding up and slowing down and speeding up and slowing down. This guy was doing 90 a minute ago, now he's doing 100 and he's gonna slow down again and it's really annoying. But I have a motorbike, so we'll see you later, buddy. Ha. For most situations you're going to encounter in Victoria, in Australia, a 320cc motorcycle like this is actually plenty powerful enough. Let's be honest, the roads are absolutely riddled with cameras. If you speed here, you're going to lose your license pretty goddamn quickly. And if you're on a twisty mountain road, having a leader bike isn't much use to you because you're not going to be able to use the power. Well, you will, but then you'll die. So, it's uh, more than powerful enough, this little puppy, for everything I needed to do anyway. Again, if you're a much more talented rider than I am, a 1000cc super bike might be your thing. But being realistic, you're going to have plenty of fun on a Ninja 300 or 400 as it is now, or an R3, or a 390 Duke. Brilliant, brilliant little bike this is. This is a really nice part of the world where I'm staying at the moment, the Bellarine Peninsula. I will be moving back into Melbourne in the next few weeks, mainly because there isn't actually an awful lot of work for me around the Geelong area, so unfortunately my dreams of living by the sea are up in smoke for the moment. But that's life for you. And at the end of the day, I'm rapidly running out of cash, so uh, regular work is kind of my main priority at the moment. For those who aren't familiar with Melbourne, it's an absolutely massive city. Has um, I think the population has just hit the 5 million mark now. So we're talking about a seriously big place with seriously bad traffic. And thankfully lane filtering is legal here. Should make the inevitable commute I have to make an awful lot easier. Although I am only riding about a year or so so uh, it's going to be a bit nerve-wracking at first. So stay tuned for videos in, with titles such as Man Absolutely Shits Himself While Filtering on Western Freeway. Should be entertaining. Hope I don't die. 
Well lads, I will leave it there today. Thank you to all who watch this video. If you're newly subscribed or a new viewer, thank you for watching and if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, please hit the old like button and the subscribe button. I release high, high, high quality shit on a frequent basis. You won't be disappointed. <laughs> anyway, good luck.